What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like we, we never, never left. left. How you just going to hit the play button while I'm in the middle of chewing? <laughs> <laughs> you know you got I'm me. pressing the button. You got me. Yeah. <laughs> but, y'all, we appreciate y'all for pulling up. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Most importantly, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Yeah. Uh, tonight, y'all, for movie night, uh, we're going to be taking y'all lead on this one. Uh, we're going to be checking out Good Will Hunting. Yes. And this is uh, starring Robin Williams. Yeah, and this actually, I asked y'all, I know if anybody participated in my little uh, movie trivia question, and I said, who was the, something I, I forgot what the question was, but it was, it, the answer was Robin Williams. And then everybody started comment, commenting that we needed to check out Goodwill Hunting. Okay, Goodwill so that's where they came from. Yeah, so I was like, yo, babe, we got to watch Goodwill Hunting. So shout out to all the fam that, Put us on to this and told us that we needed to check it out. Okay, so that is how we yes, ended up here. <laughs> but everybody's like, that was the easiest question ever. So I'm really excited. I love oh, watching. The question, you, the question that you asked that everybody answered back, it was Robin Williams. Yes, gotcha. and we've gotten other suggestions on checking out Robin Williams as well. And and so this will be the first reaction that we've, I think, right? Yeah, this, this will be, be the, the first, first movie. Reaction. This will be our first movie that we do with uh, Robin Williams. Yeah, right. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Tap into the Patreon, y'all. We have all of our uncut, un <laughs> <laughs> all of our uncut, unedited videos as well yeah. as our behind the scenes footage, Patreon polls, all that good stuff, y'all. If you are not a Patreon, you are missing out, y'all. It's a great, great time. It's okay? going down over here, so, y'all. Yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this video, y'all. <laughs> I hey. forgot my words, y'all. Okay, I don't have a script. I saw right. somebody say, "Do y'all have a script?" It sounds like y'all are scripted. Y'all, <laughs> nope. Okay, the answer is no. We just do it off of the cuff. Right. Do it off of the love. <laughs> we do it off of the strength. Uh, but yeah, this one should be good. You know, Robin Williams. He's always had like a lot of like roles where I guess he's he's like the funny guy because I believe he came into into showbiz being a comedian. Really? Yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I think I knew that, though. Yeah, but when they said Goodwill Hunting, they was like, uh, you have to check out the drama on Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, I, I, I don't know no. anything about that. Actually, I've never heard of the movie before, but um, more so just excited to get into it. Rest in peace to one of the greats. Robin Mr. Williams. Yeah, Robin Williams himself. All right. Ooh, I'm going to eat this, this white fudge pretzel. <laughs> white fudge pretzel. Y'all, mm -hmm. I do not know what is going on with my allergies, y'all. Like... I promise y'all, I've not been sneezing. I haven't sniffled. I haven't coughed like none. All day. All day long. And then we get in here, we start recording, and then it's just like my nose is just going berserk. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no idea what the heck is happening, y'all. Mind y'all, I will say, okay? Because y'all are real fam, okay? We we actually getting our floors done. And so it's, you, they pulled up the carpets and stuff that like could that. I be here, too. And <laughs> I think that yeah, has right. something to do with it. Mm -hmm. with, with why all of a sudden? Because it's like I'm fine all day long, and then they leave, yeah. and then I start sniffing. Yeah, but that's part of the reason why we went ahead, went ahead and got, got the, the carpet, carpet pulled up yeah. because the carpet was just horrible. Right. So. Right. So. But yeah, that's probably why you're doing a lot of sniffing. That's probably why. Yeah, y'all. So that is what is going on. But I need to get the like tissues. Let me go get the tissues. Yeah, please. <laughs> So if y'all see me like sniffing and all that kind of stuff, y'all, I promise y'all, I was fine before we started and I've been fine all day long. They've been here all and then, week. <laughs> it just it just comes as soon as we start watching a movie. Like out of nowhere. No. Oh. Ben Affleck? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Have I ever seen him in a movie? Ben Affleck? Yeah. No, no. Casey Affleck. Oh, Casey. Yeah, you know Jennifer Lopez. She's married to uh, Ben Affleck. Mm-hmm. Who is Casey though? Casey Affleck. I don't know. They just have the same last names. I don't know if they related though. Yeah. Matt Damon. I recognize that name, Matt Damon. Yeah. I also put an advanced Fourier system on the main hallway chalkboard, and I'm hoping that one of you might prove it by the end of the semester. And the person to do so will not only be in my good graces, but also go on to fame and fortune. MIT. Ooh, that's a lot of water. Right. He doing that to make them move. 
Why didn't you give me none of that nasty little hoochie woochie you usually throw at me? Oh, <laughs> fuck you and your Irish curse, Chucky. Like at least my energy spread in my legs for that Tootsie Roll. So go home and give it a tug yourself. Just that give it a tug yourself. <laughs> she had skin problems. I don't. <laughs> Plus, it's like five to two, Morgan ends up marrying her. You know what I mean? There's only so many times you can bang your friend's future wife. Right? Wow. Who is he? That's Matt Damon. Okay. Yeah, his, his face looks familiar. Oh, see that symbol? That, I think that, that stands for equation, Asia. I don't know. What is he writing that on there for? I, I didn't see the equation. <laughs> hmm. Mopping and buffing the hallways. It looks like he's trying to work, work those problems. Stop crowding the plate. Which one will it be? Mm. Oh! I tell you, that hurts. <laughs> we just couldn't wait until Monday to find out. Find out what? Who proved the theorem? The theorem? Hmm. That's what he was doing. Oh! And those are uh, like a big equation. What the heck? <laughs> Hell no! Nah. That look like gibberish. What is that? I don't know. These guys, he's what? That fucking guinea. I hate that little bitch. We all know him. No. Oh, what, Morgan? You're not gonna go talk to her? Fuck her. Uh. Oh. <laughs> so mannish. <laughs> so I'm wondering what that means since he since he solved that equation. I don't know. Especially when he's a janitor. Yeah. Oh, well. Who's gonna fight him? What you fight him then? We got snacks now. Shut up, Morgan. You're going. I'm not going. Oh, they finna pull up. Oh, I know what this means. Come on. It's me. It's me, Will. Remember, we went to kindergarten together. <laughs> oh! Uh, he grabbed. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. Everybody just landing right on everybody. Oh! Oh, this ain't turning out too good. Oh, it's a playground fight. Yuck it! Huh. Oh, oh, the police pulling up. Whoa. Oh, he putting hands on him. Caught. Oh, he about to stop. Dang, he beat the crap out of him. Hey, what's up, fellas? Oh, oh, that's not good. Come on. What is he doing? He is being detained. And probably under arrest. What you saw did he him, think was gonna happen? You saw him doing that right, the left, the right, the left. So without further ado, come forward, Silent Rogue, and receive thy prize. Well, he's currently behind bars. Well, at least they're being honest. At least they know it's not them. <laughs> there is a problem on the board right now that took us more than two years to prove. Two years? Two years. Look. Sorry. Less people's work. You can't graffiti here. Yeah, he got on the janitor suit and everything. Oh my god. Let me see. <laughs> see? And I ain't gonna show I'm trying to see. How is he so smart? And he's a janitor. That's a good question. Why did you get fired, Will? Come on. Uh, management was restructuring. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta use that. <laughs> yeah, restructuring? Yeah. This is a hobbit bot, huh? I thought they'd be like equations and shit on the wall. You're already talking Harvard. Harvard ba. Harvard. Oh, I know that look. I'm gonna have to bust a little move on them Harvard honeys down there. <laughs> I know that look. I was just hoping you might give me some insight into the evolution of the market economy in the southern colonies. My contention is that uh, prior to the Revolutionary War, the economic modalities, especially in the southern colonies, could most aptly be characterized as... That's a long answer. You got that from Vickers. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? <laughs> Wait! 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for a dollar fifty in late charges at the public library. Oh, major insult. But, I mean, if you have a problem like that, I mean, we could just step outside, we could figure it out. Oh, oh, you don't want those problems. No. It's cool. I know. 
cool as a fan. How, how did he like not? He said, how you like me now? How did he my just boy's come? wicked smart. They said, wicked smart. There's my number. So maybe we can go out for coffee sometime. Oh, snap. Showed. See, babe, it pays to be smart. That pay to be smart. I'm trying to okay. tell you. That intelligence is, is something else, ain't it? Sometimes using the brain is the way to a woman's heart. <laughs> do you like apples? Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. If, if you use your brain, you will find your way to her heart. Or at least sure. just get the digits right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe just that. This is real interesting. So he's a janitor. But he's incredibly smart. And it sounds like he did all his research from a library. Yeah. Well, I guess he's not a janitor anymore because he said that the, that the organization is restructuring. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I got you. Look where he live at. Is that his? Oh, maybe that's not his house. I just need the name of the student who works here. I can't give you his name unless you have a complaint. This is Professor Lambeau. This is Professor Hayes. <laughs> Got this job through his PO. You can call him. PO? Yeah. Parole officer. Parole. I thought he was going to say probation. Parole? He said parole. Mm hmm. Motion to dismiss is denied. $50,000 bail. 50K? Perfect. I remember you from Juvie. How you doing? <laughs> what the? What? I'm Gerald Lambeau. Well, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> right. I've spoken to the judge, and he's agreed to release you. But under two conditions. First condition is that you meet with me every week. And the second condition is that, that you see a therapist. <laughs> it's better than spending that time in jail, isn't it? I would take it. Right, rather than being in jail. Okay. Look, he's been right in. Know what he's doing. There are no more shenanigans, no more tomfoolery, no more ballyhoo. <laughs> ballyhoo. <laughs> do you find it hard to hide the fact that you're gay? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? What? I don't care if you putt from the rough. What are you t put putting from the rough? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Putt from the rough. What do you see? Something's in my room. So the first guy was a therapist. We can make a lot of love before the sun goes down. <laughs> hey, afternoon delight. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ray. I have better things to do with my time. Another one bites the dust. Why is trust the most important thing? I'm making a breakthrough with a client. Because uh, <clears throat> trust is life. Wow. It's, it's very deep. Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> what? I get them to sleep with you. That should be the goal of any good therapist. Nail them while they're vulnerable. That's my motto. Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll see you Monday. We'll be talking about Freud. Why he did enough cocaine to kill a small horse. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Okay, so he teaches at a community college. Yeah. I need someone who can get through to them. Like me? Yeah, I like you. Why? Well, you're from the same neighborhood. He's from Southie. Yeah. So they're from the same neighborhood. How many shrinks you go to before me? Five. Just five. Oh, man. Choir? Will Hunting. Why? Will Hunting. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I'm pumped. Let's let the healing begin. <laughs> You can tell he's not taking it seriously. He ain't been taking it seriously since the first therapist. At all. Even when, even when he was in cell block in the holding tank, he wasn't taking it serious. The majority of people who need help don't admit that they need help. Right. But they really need help. You paint that? Uh. It's a real piece of shit. Oh, well, tell me what you really think. It's the coloring. You know what the real bitch of it is? It's paint by number. Oh. You ever heard the saying, any port in the storm? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that means you. Uh. You're crying for the harbor, so maybe you do what you gotta do to get out. You know, maybe you became a psychologist. Bingo. That's it. Let me do my job now. You start with me. Come on. Uh. Wow. He stuck with him, though. Every time he says something, he they has went, something yeah, they to went, say right back. Right back, going back and forth. You married the wrong woman? Why'd she leave you? Was she, you know, banging some other guy? 
Okay. Oh, but disrespect my wife again. I will end you. I will fucking end you. Okay. Time's up. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey, but he was analyzing that picture though. Like he struck, he struck a nerve with him. Was there a little truth in that? I don't know. He got it. I don't know. I gotta hit a nerve. Thursday, four o'clock. Make sure the kids here. Oh, uh, if he if he choked him in his first meeting, there ain't no telling what's gonna happen in the second meeting. <laughs> Let him come back and try it again. <laughs> in, in other words, make sure he back at four o'clock. Next week now. Maybe that picture something really about, means something to him. Yeah, because he was really like breaking it down and analyzing his picture based on like the colors and what's going on. Right. <laughs> oh, not with oh, <laughs> not with the food. That's the perfect time. <laughs> no, pickle, babe. Sorry, pickle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, she said she got some of his pickle. Uh uh. That's the perfect time to do it to get no, your first kiss. <laughs> Forget that. You've never been out of Boston. That's the accent. <laughs> the Boston accents. But you can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman and feel truly happy. Mm. You've never held your best friend's head in your lap and watch him gasp his last breath looking to you for help. Wow. You don't know about real loss because that only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself. Wow. You're an orphan, right? Do you think I'd know the first thing about how hard your life has been? How you feel? Who you are? Because I read all of the twist. <laughs> I can't learn anything from you. I can't read in some fucking book. Unless you want to talk about you. Your move, Chief. No, that's a heck of a conversation right there. I hope, I hope that kind of like got through to him a little bit. You see how that leaves him? Like, what just happened? <laughs> He just he just served served him a dish like it's your turn. Yeah. You you right. tried to lay it on me. Now I just laid it on you. I just gave you some truth. I just laid it on reality. a little thicker. Yeah. Wow. Like and, and, and made him think about what he just said. Yeah. Hello. Professor Valenti, you calling me again? Freak. Why he didn't say anything? <laughs> he said freak. <laughs> Who did you call? No, and I forgot the number. Fucking retarded, you went all the way out there in the rain, you didn't bring that number? No, it was your mother's 900 number, I just ran out of cars. <laughs> oh, you get off of mother's, I just got off of yours. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keep it tight, guys, and we watch what happens. All right, then, Mark. Watch what happens. All right, then, Mark. Watch what happens. <laughs> watch what happens. Watch what happens. That was funny. No smoking. No, now they're in the office. Look how he looking at him. So he's just been going, it looks like he's not even saying anything. Like they're not <laughs> even talking. He don't know what to say because he's gonna have to talk about something for real. It's like he's just waiting for his, his session to be over. My wife used to fart when she was nervous. <laughs> she used to fart in her sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that sound like you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. When he brought it up, I kind of was thinking about you. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, was that you? See, I didn't have the heart to tell <laughs> Oh, God. You woke yourself up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the things I miss the most. The little idiosyncrasies that only I knew about. Hmm. People call these things imperfections. But they're not. Oh, that's the good stuff. Hmm. Right. You're not perfect, sport. This girl you met, she isn't perfect either. But the question is whether or not you're perfect for each other. Right. You ever think about getting remarried? My wife's dead. Well, I think that's a super philosophy, Sean. I mean, that way you could actually go through the rest of your life without ever really knowing anybody. Wow. They know how to kind of get to each other's, like, <laughs> that core. Mental, that mental gymnastics type of thing. Yeah. Every time he brings her up, he gets, he starts feeling a certain type of way. And every yeah. time he talks about getting to know people, he starts feeling a certain type of way. Yeah, right? I think they have, I think they have a lot more in common than right. than what they think as of right now. Uh-huh. Even with them being, you know, two completely different ages. Right. Both of them have been through a lot. Hmm. My dog is winning! Come on, Mr. Oh, look at those greyhounds. I need I one of those. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we won. What, number two? 
I have 12 big brothers. You do not I, no, I swear to God, brothers. I swear to God. Wow. Marky, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. <laughs> so when did you know, like, that she was the one for you? October 21st, 1975. Wow, wow. Jesus Christ, you know the fucking day? <laughs> it was game six of the World Series. Bottom of the 12th, in stepped Carlton Fisk. Carlton Fisk. It hits a foul pole. Oh, he goes apeshit. And 35,000 fans, you know, they charge the field. You rush the field? Uh, no, I didn't rush the fucking field. I wasn't there. What? what? No, I was in a bar having a drink with my future wife. <laughs> <laughs> Slid my ticket across the table and I said, Sorry, guys, I gotta see about a girl. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not talking right now about some girl I saw at a bar 20 years ago and how I always regretted not going over and talking to her. Huh. October 21st, 1975. Would have been nice to catch that game, though. I think my buzz is gonna hit a home run. <laughs> that was some big Boston history right there. Will I ever play in the NBA? It is decidedly so. <laughs> you just do eight balls, babe. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You remember that? I used to shake them all the time. What if I said I would not sleep with you again until you let me meet your friends? Oh. If you're not thinking with your wiener, then you're acting directly on its behalf. On behalf of my wiener, can I get like an advance payment? He said an advance payment. <laughs> Fuck the egg shock. No, nothing. Go back to sleep. I looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> she seems perfect for him. Yeah, especially like that conversation. Yeah. I or wonder. I wonder. They're does he... perfect for each other. You think so? There's an old couple in bed. Mary and Paddy. She takes the teeth out, puts them in the glass, and she gives him a blowjob. And afterwards, Paddy's like, oh, yeah, Now that's what I've been missing. That was the most beautiful, earth-shattering thing ever. <laughs> and Mary looks up at him and she goes, Give us a kiss. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that's bad. Uh, <laughs> I cannot. That was good. Let's put it on my tab. You have a plan on paying your tab? Yeah, Chief. Got the winning lottery ticket right here. What's the jackpot? 12 million. I don't think that'll cover it. Yeah, but it'll cover your sex change operation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dang. Let's talk about the boy. Why don't we give him time to figure out what he wants? That's a wonderful theory, Sean. It worked wonders for you. Mm. The boy's in a meeting right now. I set up for him over at McNeil. Well, Will, uh, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. <laughs> We've already offered you a position. Nobody in this town works without a retainer, guys. Your situation, for you, would be concurrently improved if I had $200 in my back pocket right now. <laughs> but after the shit you tried to pull today, you can bet I'll be looking into you. Uh. Keep your head to the grindstone. <laughs> Look how they looking at him. Wait, but wow. why did he show up though? Right, that's what I'm trying to figure out. He did a good job. Well, have you studied organic chemistry? A little bit. Oh, just for fun. Yeah, for kicks. Yeah, it's so much fun studying organic chemistry. Are you mad? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Well. Oh, man. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, look at them spilling quality time. Yeah. I think he's really, really falling for her. I, I think so, too. Yeah. I want you to come to California with me. Are you sure about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's going to Stanford. Right. I mean, you just want to have your little fling with like the guy from the other side of town. Then you're going to go off to Stanford. You're going to marry some rich prick who your parents will approve of and just sit around with the other trust fund babies and talk about how you went slumming too once. Whoa, wow. You don't I want to hear that I got it. fucking cigarettes put out of me when I was a little kid. Mmm. <laughs> I want to hear you wow. say that you don't love me. Wow. Because if you say that, I won't be in your life. Wow. I don't love you. Oh! Oh, wow, he... Why? Why would he say that? Man. See, now, like I said, he's starting to kind of unravel a little bit. You're kind of starting to see, like, some of the things that's really, really bothering him. That's probably, like, the furthest he really ever let somebody in, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Do you know how easy this is for me? Do you have any fucking idea how easy this is? This is a fucking joke. 
And I'm sorry you can't do this. I really am, because I wouldn't have to fucking sit here and watch you fumble around and fuck it up. This is probably a total waste of my time. Look, he burnt it. Most days I wish I never met you. I didn't, I didn't have to walk around with the knowledge that there was someone like you out there. Man. So he's like a, he's like a genius I, I of geniuses. Didn't have to watch you throw it all away. I kind of feel like that he's like just, he's underachieving just because of what he's dealing with inside. Mm-hmm. You mean like he's not, like his life is the way that it is because he chooses to do that because of what he's been through? Yeah, I think he's just scared. The question isn't, why should you work for the NSA? NSA? The question is, why shouldn't you? What? Say I'm working at the NSA and somebody puts a code on my desk, something no one else can break. Maybe I take a shot at it, and maybe I break it. And I'm real happy with myself because I did my job well. But maybe that code was the location of some rebel army in North Africa or the Middle East. And once they had that location, they bombed the village where the rebels are hiding. 1,500 people that I never met, never had no problem with, get killed. Mm. And of course, the oil companies use a little skirmish over there to scare up domestic oil prices. A cute little ancillary benefit for them, but it ain't helping my buddy at 250 a gallon. So now my buddy's out of work, he can't afford to drive, so he's walking to the fucking job interviews, which sucks because the shrapnel in his ass is giving him chronic hemorrhoids. And meanwhile, he's starving because every time he tries to get a bite to eat, the only blue plate special they're serving is North Atlantic Scrod with Quaker State. All you see is every negative thing 10 miles down the road. Mm. You could be a janitor anywhere. Why did you work at the most prestigious technical college in the whole fucking world? Ooh. Why did you sneak around at night and finish other people's formulas that only one or two people in the world could do and then lie about? Good question. Yeah, right? If you're gonna jerk off, why don't you just do it at home with a moist towel? You chucking me? Yeah, get the fuck hey, out. No. <laughs> what do you want to do? You can't give me a straight answer because you don't know. You don't know. See you, both people. What is he afraid of, though? That's what I'm saying. I don't know what it is. Like, I think. I think, I think he's afraid of being great, uh, of reaching his full potential, like a lot of people, you know? I love you. you take care. Maybe he's used to people like that he gets close to, like hurting him or, or who he betraying might him. Or somebody who he's actually really loved in life, you know, he, he had a bad experience like growing up with a lack of love or something. Maybe he's afraid of being like judged, you know, like he said, it's just like, if, what if I don't get it right? And, and I tell you the wrong thing and all these things come back on me, you know, like I'll have to live with that. Yeah. He, so it's, like, it's almost like he's afraid to open up. Like, like you yeah. said, he's really afraid to like completely open up. Right. Cause I'd do fucking anything to have what you got. Mm. So would any of these fucking guys. Oh, you know what the best part of my day is? It's for about 10 seconds from when I pull up to the curb when I get to your door. Because I think maybe I'll get up there and I'll knock on the door and you won't be there. You gave him some truth right there. He pushes people away before they have a chance to leave him. It's a defense mechanism, all right? And for 20 years he's been alone because of that. And if you push him right now, it's going to be the same thing all over again. And I'm not going to let that happen to him. Wow, I didn't realize that. He's a good kid and I won't see you fuck him up like you're trying to fuck up me right now. Oh. I can come back. I'll come in. Uh, that was just leaving. It was like he walked in at the wrong or right time? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some pretty awful shit. I mean, have you had any? Oh. Whoa, look at that. Yeah. You see this? This is not your fault. Mm. Yeah, I know that. But does he? I don't think he do. I know. No, no, you don't. It's not your fault. <laughs> see? It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me, all right? Don't fuck with me, Sean. Not you. It's not your fault. Hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, <sorry. laughs> so he thinks like everything that happened to him was because of him. Yeah, he's like he's he's saying it's like it's my fault. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like he he he, he gave him he told him like some of the realest. Something that he probably never heard in his whole life, you know right. what I mean? It's like he's been carrying that too, mm -hmm. to think that like these people did what they did to him because he was, he was, it was his fault. Like, right. he existed, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think ultimately, maybe he does have like fear of like abandonment, like yeah. that kind of stuff because he had foster parents. He lived in a, in a, in a, uh, 
and uh like in the foster a care orphanage and stuff, and stuff. Yeah, yeah foster care i think whatever sean just said you know just regarding like it not being his fault mm-hmm. i think i think that had a big big impact on him that's the first time you see him cry really show like really any like true emotion, emotion like from the inside right. You do what's in your heart, son. You'll be fine. I think what's what's on his heart is to go, go find that girl. You think so? I think so. <laughs> you just violate the uh, patient doctor relationship. Nah, only if you grab my ass. <laughs> hey, asshole. What, bitch? Happy birthday. Now we forgot, huh, bitch? Oh, it's his birthday. We knew you had to get back and forth to Cambridge for your new job, and I knew I wasn't gonna fucking drive you every day. On his birthday. It's the ugliest fucking car I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Happy 21, Will. Yeah, they're some great friends, aren't they? Right. Get a car on your birthday? How about a drink right now? Yeah, it's a good idea. Come on. This one's on me. Got the winner right here, pal. Oh. Yes, sir. This is the one. That's the lottery ticket. What is he putting in the mailbox? Oh, is he gone? That's what I was saying. What did he put in the mailbox? No. Well, his friends are to pick him up to go to work. But he's gone. Remember he said, I wish that I could pick you, come to your house and you not even be there. You just be gone. Look, he's saying Will. Yeah. See? Did he do it? I don't know. He's not there. Look how he's looking. See? <laughs> he took his advice. Aww. Look at that. Wow. If the professor calls about that job, just tell him, sorry. I had to go see about a girl. Bitch, he stole my line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He did. He took that line. That was good. Yes. Oh, uh, my God. Look, man. I almost <laughs> I got tears uh, in my eyes. They just ain't came out. That was really good. It was. You know the part that really got me? Like, the part, the part of the movie that really got me was the part when he started telling him, it's not your fault. And he kept saying, it's not your fault. When you... That's the part that kind of that, that really hit me in the heart and kind of my eyes start getting watery right there. Yeah, <laughs> like, because for real. Because I feel like like after a while, you know, Man. him just kind of hit. Basically, you know, he's been through so much like in having a family, like a large family, and yeah. that, and not having like that type of relationship. You just tend to just isolate yourself away from people because, like he said, you the people who hurt you the most in life, like the people you trust, the people like, especially when it comes to trust, Mm -hmm. you know, your family, your mom, your dad, like whatever that might be, where, where you're supposed to feel safe, where you're supposed to feel secure. And those people do what they do to you to hurt you to, to like, to an extreme, you know, it's traumatizing. It's traumatizing. And for anybody that, you know, has, has gone through something like that, I feel like it's just a, a natural thing to just, put up a guard like and create a a defense mechanism especially for people who had to go through orphanages like think about all the things they had to endure and see and Mm -hmm. go through and you know you make a friend and that friend's gone like as soon as you exactly get close to somebody or you you start trusting somebody they they're gone you know so like so you can, and, and you can kind of tell is, that too like he stayed away from like all like the serious things like the serious conversations right. that he had to have right you, you could tell that he always like kind of like swayed away from like having like real true conversations where you have to open up mm-hmm. you know show your vulnerability really show who your true heart is because you, yeah. you even brought it up too where you were saying that he didn't even want to like go that far with her right. just because he, she, he, he didn't want to bring out those imperfections or he didn't want her to see those imperfections in him because he probably did his best to try to look on the outside look like he's perfect you know right right it just it just i feel like like he's he definitely was very scarred with mm. you know what he's what all he's been through even with yeah. his friends and i think that was probably why he had the relationship with his friends the way that he did because they had his back that was all, that's all he had and that's all he yeah. had you know even what I mean? and, and we and we saw it too where they hopped out the car at the right. playground too and they had each other's back so that was like a 
again, like like one of those examples of, of like that loyalty that he's right. been so badly mm-hmm. looking for, even though that probably wasn't like the best like situation to prove like loyalty right. because it got, it got him in even more like legal right. trouble. But it, it was another testament of like somebody really having his back mm-hmm. or the only people that really have his back, you know? Right. But exactly. like, but this was like an incredible story. Like, like he was just like off the charts smart and, you know, in, in a lot of people's eyes, you, you know, that's like the perfect person in, in a lot of people's eyes. But you kind of saw as like the movie started to progress, yeah. you started seeing like as he opened up, you start seeing like these chinks in his armor and he started kind you know, of peeling those layers back. The layers. Bit. Yeah. He so started peeling back the layers. Like more of him. And by the end of the movie, I feel like even with his friend telling me like, I want to come here one day and I see you here because you got so much going on. Uh, but you you sitting on a goal So mine. much potential like, that you could right. be doing rather than just in here knocking down bricks and stuff, you know? Right, exactly. And it's almost like he was doing all this, like, physical work, but he wasn't using the one thing that he had, which was, like, his, his brain, po- the like power he, of his mind, right. you know? and he's so, so smart, and that's crazy because it's just, like, I'd rather have loyalty than, than to go and make myself better and get to know people and... and Having to yeah. deal with people who deal with me, and and I and and then you know then what you yeah. know? But I feel like it was more of a fear than yeah. it was. It was anything. a huge. It was like a huge fear, <laughs> and you can see that hurdle throughout right. the entire movie. But I, I felt like by the time we got to the end of the movie, he kind of like jumped over that first hurdle right. of, of that, yeah. you know. Right. And 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 that's what the professor like, or you know. That's what Robin Williams really helped him with. And that's crazy, yeah, because ultimately he was like, I don't need therapy. Remember when he first started going, he was taking it as a joke. You know, it wasn't really And the thing was, like, I feel like the reason why it was so hard for him was because he had to be personal and trust him with the information that he was going to give him. That's huge. And and really dive in deep with his emotions and his feelings and really be honest with himself about why he felt the way he felt and why he was the type of person that he was. Because because even with, with the girl, as much as he liked her, yeah. as much as he liked and cared for her, mm-hmm. and, and they had like great conversation, and everything just felt natural. As, as good as that stuff was, he still had that vulnerable part where he didn't want to like let her in. And, and, and we saw that when mm-hmm. he like really like walked out of the room and, just, and didn't and didn't really like, you know, right. m- you know, didn't face the bull head on. Yep. Well, that's, I mean, ultimately, it's a hard hurdle to overcome, especially when, you know, the people that you feel like that, that are supposed to do all those things and, and give you those, you know, the encouragement, you know, everything that you need in life to prepare you to go be great. Yeah. He didn't have any of that. And the people who did, like, obviously, they hurt him. Like, yeah, you saw the, what he had in that folder. Right. So, it's just like, I, I would never, I, I wouldn't trust anybody either. I wouldn't exactly. want anybody to come close to me either. I'd, I push people away too when I feel like they're getting close mm-hmm. because because I'm protecting myself at the end of the day and I don't I don't want to feel what that feels like you know. Yeah. This so, was a this was like this was a phenomenal movie. I'm glad that we sat down and watched this one because yeah. it, it, it's one of those movies that really like t- can can teach you about yourself as well. Yeah. As far as like overcoming your own hurdles and mm-hmm. and and just, and just seeing like as, as perfect as you can be on the outside, there's always imperfections and things that you got to work on on the inside yep, too. And he said it perfectly. He no no it matter perfectly. how no no matter how smart you are or intelligent right. you are. Like like just a great story of a movie. And you know, this was like early on with Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and even like a, a younger Robin Williams. I just wondered if there was like any awards won like, behind this movie. Behind this movie just just because of like the writing and the acting was just like phenomenal. It was just like a great story of just this Boston kid that was just going through so much. Yeah, their accents, y'all. I'm here for it, okay? Shout out to all the Boston folks out there, Heck okay? yeah. With the Boston accents. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> y'all, we need y'all to pull up. We need y'all to really tap in and drop some comments and let us know what y'all think about this movie. Because Gilbert Hunting, uh, it, it's one of those movies that, that I got to put up on, a, on on my list of, of great movies. Yeah, it was. Just, just watching it for the first time. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. So y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this. And if y'all enjoyed this, be sure you give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash yeah. that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Bye.